Tonight, Prince found dead at just 57. The news has fans mourning at the legendary artist's home, a rainbow where purple shone the brightest. The 60 Minutes crew home and back with their families, but the Prime Minister says they have been unwise and could face official questions here. The jail sentences dished out to the armed men who terrorised a Sydney family. All night road work that has been ordered to stop. Residents in North Sydney can't sleep and they're making their own noise about that. And the Queen's terribly happy 90th birthday. There was cake, cannon and of course Her Majesty's customary wave. This is 10 Eyewitness News. First at 5 with Sandra Sully and Hugh Remington. Good evening. First tonight, there are few artists as prolific and fewer still so revered that when news filtered through that Prince had died, the outpouring of emotion was always going to be huge. From a president to his peers, everybody was mourning the death of the visionary musician. Well, Prince's music saw him showered with awards from an Oscar to seven Grammys, from Purple Rain to Kiss to Little Red Corvette. Tonight, the tributes are coming for a fiercely independent style shaper who broke all the rules. Here's Ursula Hager. He could play like Jimi Hendrix and dance like James Brown, but there will only ever be one Prince. Prince Rogers Nelson was found at 9.43 a.m. in an elevator at the Minneapolis Music Studio he called home. By the time paramedics arrived, there was nothing they could do. There are now reports the singer had suffered a drug overdose just six days ago. He'd recently been photographed fragile and on his way to a pharmacy. His death at just 57 has brought thousands together in song and seen monuments turn purple. From Barack Obama, nobody's spirit was stronger, bolder or more creative. From Madonna, he changed the world, a true visionary. Even NASA posted a picture of a purple nebula for the man who was out of this world. Yes, you are. And it's that music that is now being shared with the grief. At the Apollo Theatre in Harlem, they dance. It's unique, his style, his music. Played all 27 instruments at 19 years old. I mean, definitely a, 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 an icon. Prince was the son of a jazz singer with the same name. He released his first album at 20 and went on to sell more than 100 million. His biggest song, Purple Rain, he famously performed in the rain at the Super Bowl. Purple rain. The movie of the same name won him an Oscar. I could have never imagined this in my wildest dreams. His songwriting even producing smash hits for the Bangles and Sinead O'Connor. What music survives on is people like that with a sense of vision that takes them one step beyond where everybody else is. During his last visit to Australia just two months ago, he told the crowd, can't nobody do it like Prince. And nobody will again. Well, to other news now, the Prime Minister is the latest to lash out at 60 Minutes.